Hi friends, how are you? It has been a while since I have posted. Lots has been happening. A lot has been going on. Um, but I wanted to share with you a dream that I had about a friend. And I thought that it would be good for me to share it because I find that when it comes to the body of Christ and Christians that have backslidden or are lukewarm, I think that that's not obviously just one particular person, but that can be many people. You can find yourself in a situation like what I'm getting ready to describe, or maybe you know someone who you could really be praying for that they will get their life right, especially right now that the days are so pressing for the rapture of the church. And I was once a single mom and I didn't make the best decisions. And I'm very thankful and glad that Jesus did not come for his church back then. And so with that being said, I will share the warning dream that the Lord gave me for this particular friend and um, also let it be a warning to, to the rest of the body of Christ that is walking in sin or that is living in sin. Okay, so this friend of mine is Christian, um, by the way. So basically, I was preparing for the rupture by getting my house in order. So I was in my home preparing. I wondered if my friend had broken up with the boy, the guy that was living with her. I called my friend and found out that he still lives there and she's actually planning to buy a bigger house with him. I asked her if that was God's best for her life. My friend responded that she deserved to live with a man and to be happy. She even threw my past in my face and basically said that God will still bless her regardless of her choices. I knew she was being covetous because she already had a nice and comfortable home and she wanted a husband by any means necessary, even if God was not in it. I felt so bad for her because I knew that that man would eventually pull out the rug from underneath her. The next scene is that she's in her family room with her children and this man. And she has with her a riddle or a puzzle and she's asking the family to basically help her with the meaning of this. The man was so uninterested he even said to himself, when she is not looking, I'm going to sneak away and watch TV. And she asked the kids, kids, what is the meaning of this riddle? And they said to her, why should we answer you? Basically, they didn't respect her. The next scene, she sees this man sitting in front of the television and says to herself, that every day after work, this man goes and sits in front of the TV. He doesn't care for her. And she's afraid that people are going to notice that he's not in it for the right reasons. But still, she didn't care because she wanted that big house. I knew there was nothing I could tell her because she had made up her mind. I guess I found myself outside at this point. There were large black dogs running around the neighborhood looking to attack. There was also a lot of lawlessness going around the neighborhood. I mean, sin running rampant outside. I could see it everywhere. I was walking with my dog and I tried to hide her from all of these other dogs so that they wouldn't attack her. And as I'm hiding her, we ended up in my friend's backyard. This actually turned out to be my former backyard. So it was a backyard that I that belonged to me, but it was now her backyard. Me and my dog went into the backyard and my dog went straight through the yard and exited on the other side. Apparently there was a gap in the fencing of the, there was a gap in the fencing so animals could come in and out. Her three dogs were also in the backyard. I wanted my dog close to me, but I also figured if my dog needs me, she will run back into the yard and be with me. 
At this point from my dream, I'm starting to wake up. And as I'm waking up, I blinked my eyes once. And when I opened them, I saw in big capital letters in front of my vision from the center to the right, the biggest capital letters you can ever see. And the words were rapture. And then with that, I woke up, like literally woke up. And oh my goodness, I was so alarmed in my spirit. Um, my friend has been going through some things and I have prayed for her. She has been on my heart. I have taken a step back from our friendship because I cannot encourage that. My husband also, and a pastor friend that I know, they've encouraged me to pray for her from a distance, but she needs to know that what she's doing is wrong and it is hurting her. And so I feel like this is a warning dream that the Lord gave me about her and also about other Christians that are basically out there professing Christianity, but living lifestyles that is not, um, that are, that is not godly. I'm not judging by any means because I have been in that position in the past. Uh, but I want you to know that these are not the days. Jesus is coming soon for his bride. I mean, very soon. And we cannot be found in a fornicating relationship or drunkenness or lawlessness or illegal activities. We cannot be doing that, especially the body of Christ. I believe those people will not be raptured. Look, he's coming for a spotless and blameless bride. Those that are not living like that will not go with him. So it, it's a warning, okay? Here are some scriptures that I um, found regarding all of this. And the last scripture is 1 Thessalonians 5, 1 through 2. But concerning the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I should write to you. For you yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so comes as a thief in the night. I believe that this is speaking of warnings to the Christians that are living lifestyles that are not holy. In my dream, I went to sleep preparing for the rapture, getting my house in order for the rapture. And at the end of my dream, I woke up with a big sign that said rapture. This is a warning dream for the church. All of these scriptures are people who confess to be Christians. So if there is any area of your life that you have not surrendered to God or any strongholds, please write it on the comment section and I will be praying for you. I love you and I do not want you to miss the rupture. There will be another opportunity and that is through the tribulation and not taking the mark of the beast. I don't recommend that. It's going to be an awful and terrible time. Get your life right now with God. All of the prophecies are lining up. It is time. I love you. I'm always praying for you. And if there's a specific prayer for you, a family member or friend, write their first name down. Maybe a general location. I don't need any details. Just so-and-so from here. I will be praying for them as well as for this entire community channel. Thank you so much for watching and may God bless you and strengthen you and encourage you during these last days.